Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this tutorial, we will discuss math instructions used in Mitsubishi PLC's programming. Different kinds of math instructions. All the controllers of the MILSIG family can perform all four basic mathematical operations, arithmetical operations, and can add, subtract, multiply, and divide integer numbers, non floating numbers, non floating point numbers. These instructions are described in the section. The controller based units of the FX2 and FX2NC and FX3U series can also process floating point numbers. The points, the numbers in points are in Floating point numbers are also processed by FX twin, FX two and C and FX three U. And the basic operation add, subtract, multiply, divide are performed by the every one of the MLSIC family. This is done with the special instructions. It means that the floating point number processing is done with the special instructions that are documented in detail with the programming manual of the FX MLSIC FX family. They are used. They are using special relays to perform these floating point numbers. After every addition or subtraction, you should always program instruction to check the states of the special relay, relay is listed below to see whether the result is 1 is, is 0 or has exceeded the permitted value range. These are using to process the floating point numbers M8020. This is a special relay. This special relay is set to 1 if the result of an addition or subtraction is 0. When the addition and subtraction of floating point to floating point numbers is 0, then this relay M8020 is set to 1. And M8021 special relay M8021 is set to 1 if the result of an addition or subtraction subtraction is smaller than 16 bit number that is 32767 which represents 16 bit operation and this much number minus 21474836482 bit operation if the result of an addition or subtraction is smaller than this value in minus and this value in minus then this relay is set to 1 m8021 is set to 1 special relay 8022 is set to 1 if the result of an addition or subtraction is greater than 16 bit number and in, in plus and 6 and 32 bit number in plus so this relay m8022 is used and is set to 1 when the subtraction or addition of the two numbers in the floating point and the addition and subtraction of the two floating point number is, is greater than this number or this number these special relays can be used as enable flags for continuing with additional math operation so these are used as a flags when the flag is 1 we understand that the this value is in positive or this value is in negative and this is 1 or 0 in the following example the results of the subtraction operations in d2 is used as a divisor since the dividing by 0 is impossible and causes an error the division is only executed if the divisor is not 0 as m8000 is used when the plc is in the running state m8000 special relay is always set to 1 it will subtract the value from value of d1 from d0 and place the result in d2 these all are the 16 bit values and when this is set to 1 when it is turned off then then this they will be set to 1 then it will divide the value of d3 by d2 and the result will be stored in the d5 addition add instruction a double d is used for the addition add instruction calculates the sum of the two 16 bit or 32 bit values and write the result to another device so add d0 d1 d2 it will add the value to 16 bit with values d0 and d1 and will place them into the d2 examples for example add k1000 d100 d102 it, it will add the 1000 value which is a numerical value 1000 and d1 d100 contains the value of 53 so 1053 will be added 1015 is the 53 is the result in the similar way add d10 d11 d12 d10 has the 5 value d11 has minus 8 the result is minus 3 which is stored in d12 add d8 d0 d2 d4 this add the double world value or 32 bit value so d0 and d1 has this value this will be added with it will use the two consecutive register d0 and d1 and d2 and d3 d0 d1 has this value d2 and d3 has this value the result will be stored in the other two register d4 and d5 which is this one in the similar way if a number is added with for example d0 k25 d0 so d0 has 18 and 25 18 plus 25 is 25 43 is the result in the similar way to use the <coughs> mod just we can also use this add instruction with the triggered rising edge we use this mod just add p suffix to the instruction add p d add p add p mean it is adding the two 16 bit values at the rising edge of the pulse d add p it means that the it is adding two six 32 bit values at the rising edge of the input pulse here is add p d47 k27 d51 so it will add the result of a d47 with 27 the result will be stored in 51 subtraction this is also done in the similar way subtraction instruction calculates the difference between the two numerical values of contents of 16 bit or 32 bit devices constants the result of the subtraction is written to a third device for example this input subtract d0 d1 d2 so it will subtract the value of d1 from d0 and result 
itself will be added to d2 is placed in d2 in the example above the contents of d1 is subtracted from the contents of d0 and the difference is written to the d2 register here, here are the examples subtract d100 a100 and d101 so d100 has 247 and his this value is a100 so 247 plus 100 minus 100 147 similar is the case here and here you can also see these examples these are the similar examples when this relay is set it will act on the rising edge of the subtraction the rising edge of the input pulse and it will subtract the value of d394 from d50 and result will place d51 multiplication mul instruction is used for the multiplication it multiplies to 16 bit or 32 bit values and writes the result to a third device for example multiply d0 d1 d2 it will multiply the value of d0 to d1 the result is placed into d2 and d3 because when the two 16 bit values are multiplied they are always greater than the 16 bit range it will be stored in the two consecutive registers when you multiply two 16 bit values the result can quite easily exceed the range that can be displayed with 16 bits because of this the product of the multiplication is always written to the two consecutive 16 bit devices so in this case if this multiplication d0 and d1 is greater than the 16 bit range then the, it will be written to the d2 and d3 it will be stored in d2 and d3 because of this the product of multiplication always written to two consecutive 16 bit devices that is 32 bit double word when you multiply two 32 bit values the product is written to four consecutive 16 bit devices 64 bits two double words when two 32 bit values are multiplied then the, the product is written to four consecutive 16 bit devices 64 bits two double words this is one double word and the other one other double one so 32 and 32 is 64 64 bit product is written into double words two double words always take the size of these devices the ranges into account when you are programming and take care not to create range overlap by using the devices in the ranges to which the product are written example here multiply d0 d1 d2 d0 has this value d1 has 481 the result will be placed in two register because it is greater than the range of 16 bit devices so d3 and d2 d2 and d3 will be used to store the result here multiply d10 k minus 5 d20 the result is greater so it will be stored in two registers here is again d mu d multiply d0 d2 and d4 here is double word is used so first register will contain two registers d0 and d1 the second one will contain two registers d2 and d3 and the result will be stored in the four registers that is d4 d5 d6 d7 so first two the second two this is one word this is one uh, one word so this, this is two word result this is two word result the both are multiplied and the result will be placed into four word four word which contains the this is 32 bit this is 32 bit double word double word multiplied and we will get four word result here the multiplication instruction instruction can also be executed in the pulse triggered form d mul p mul p d mul p and m m u l p these are the triggered form at the rising edge of the it will execute it at the rising edge of the input pulse division here the same is m u l p it will act at the rising edge of the x24 division melsif family is div is an instruction divides one number by another number contained of two 16 bit or 32 bit devices are constant this is an integer operation and cannot process floating point values it is not used to process floating point values or the numbers in the digits in the in the points value the result is always an integer and the remainder is stored separately when an in here is an input divide d0 and d1 d2 d0 is divided by d1 its result is stored in d2 and its reminder is stored in D3 if there is a reminder if there is no reminder then d2 is will be used when two 16 bit values are divided the quotient is written to one 16 bit device and the reminder is written to the next device and this you will get the result division of these two and if there is a reminder it will be stored in d3 this means that the result of a division always requires two consecutive 16 bit devices mean 32 bits when you divide two 32 bit values the quotient is written to two 16 bit devices and the remainder is written to the next two 16 bit devices this means that the four consecutive 16 bit devices are always required for the results of a 32 bit division when you performing 32 bit division here you can clear this concept with the example d0 and d1 are divided the result is stored in d2 40 divided by 6 is, uh, the, this is the quotient 6 and remainder is 4 which is stored in the other register d3 so d2 and d3 is used to store the quotient and the remainder consecutively the signs of the values are taken into account by the divide, division instruction in this example the counter value of c0 is divided by the value in d10 divide c0 d10 d200 counter value will be divided by d10 value this will be divided 
and quotient is minus 7 and remainder is 1 which is here d 2000 d 200 and d 201 will be used for this result division with 32 bit will use d d i v d 0 d 2 d 4 d 0 will be divided with d 2 but the next register to store the 32 bit values so d0 and d1 these values will be divided by d2 and d3 d0 and d1 this has this value and d2 and d3 has this much value this value will be divided by this which are the 32 bit values and the result will be stored in d4 and d5 for the quotient because the quotient is also in 32 bit and the remainder in d6 and d7 which is also 32 bit so when we divide 32 bit data we need two registers for the quotient and two registers two 16 bit register for quotient two 16 bit register for remainder or in other words one 32 bit quotient and one 32 bit remainder is created adding a p suffix to divide instructions divp it will act on the rising edge of the input pulse d divp double word division will work on the rising edge of the input pulse in the following examples count of values of c12 is only divided by 4 in the program cycle in which input x30 is switched on 30 is switched on div work on the rising edge of the input pulse and c12 will be divided by k4 and result will be stored in the next registers d12 and other combining math instructions in real life one calculation is seldom all you want to perform the fx controller also allow you to combine math instruction to solve more complex calculation depending on the na nature of the calculation you may have to use additionally in the use addition you may have to use additional devices to store the immediate results the following example shows that how you could calculate the sum of the values in data register d101 d102 d103 and the multiply the result by the factor 4 <coughs> here is an example m101 is when is set to 1 if we add the <clears throat> values in d101 and 102 place the result in d200 and when this is closed it will add the result d200 this result and add d101 this is 103 and will place into the d200 in a similar way when these two are turned on this is already closed this is closed the, the multiply the result d200 with the k and d the result will be placed in d104 so these are very important instructions which are called math instruction you need to learn these instruction and the next lecture we will discuss the expansion output expansion modules and their different characteristics so stay tuned to this youtube channel so that you can get useful knowledge about the plc programming thank you so much for watching this video